kind of match that possibly if you'd had a better start you might have been more in it yeah I think so I mean I lost the first frame on the black and I had a couple of chances uh, and uh, didn't put her away it was a bit disappointing to lose it on the black and it would have sort of it might have made a little bit of a difference but uh Sort of winning that first frame for Corrin, I think he got very strong. He's a very strong, one of the top players in the world, and he finished off the match in style. I had a few chances, which just a little bit, uh, just ran out of position, a little bit disappointed with positional play. Uh, but actually, you know, I, I know I lost 4-0, and it looks like it was very, very one-sided, but, you know, I probably, I should have been at least 2-1 up at one stage. Um, so that's the way, just the way the game goes. But actually, I was, I was more pleased with how I felt, you know, coming into the, you know, other matches like against some of the, the players when you've been a bit rusty or lacking a few wins under your belt that you you would have been a bit sort of uh, a bit more nervous. But I actually I was enjoying it out there. It's the waterfront has got great memories for me, you know, and uh, I've had some great nights here, particularly when I played Alex Higgins here a long time ago. So um, it's a great spot, and I'm just sorry I didn't sort of give them a little bit more to cheer about, you know. Yeah, sure. And you were coming in off that victory against Dominic Dale, your first this yeah. season. So yeah. you had that little bit of confidence, I suppose. But yeah. it's just about maybe a few things clicking early on yeah, in the match. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I mean, you know, if I had to put that first frame away, then it might have had a different sort of complexion on the whole match. Uh, and I might have put him a little bit on the back foot because he missed a couple and he might have got a little bit more nervous and or put a little bit more doubt in his mind. But yeah, I mean, I just need a few matches under my belt uh, and. You know, that's what I'll be hoping for this season and uh, get back down, get the head down, get put a bit more graft in and then see what happens. You know, I'm in the sort of, I'm in that stage in my career and sort of the twilight sort of zone where you sort of just, uh, I'm just going to enjoy it as much as I can, enjoy the challenge. But um, yeah, get back to the practice table and try and sharpen up a bit. And in terms of how close you are in these events, how far can Ken Doherty go in a tournament? Do you still feel like you're coming to an event thinking yeah. I can get to the last day, the semi-finals, the final? Or, or where is your mind at coming to an event like this? I think uh, when I'm, if I get to the semi-finals or the final, I'd probably be uh, doing commentary on the TV for like TV or BBC. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I don't have... Uh, look, at you just never know. Uh, if you get a few wins on your belt, you just never know. The L spark something might spark up again, you know, uh, and I might get some good old memories from <laughs> from latter years. So look at, I wouldn't discount anything. I'm not going to put myself down and say I've got no chance. I wouldn't do that because once you have uh, once you have a bit of spirit there and a bit of competitive Irish spirit, you know, anything can happen. And speaking of Ireland, an event like this in Belfast, mm. you know, we, we miss Goffs, we miss yeah, City yeah, West. Yeah, 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 yeah. How great would it be to have a tournament down south as well as having one in Northern Absolutely. Ireland as well. I mean, this is a great event. It's in a wonderful place, the Waterfront Hall. Uh, it's had some great sort of Northern Ireland Open finals here, and particularly like last year when Mark Allen won it. Um, and yeah, as I said, I've got some great memories of playing here over the years. Uh, but yeah, back in Goffs is very, very special. We need it. We need a tournament. And I think, you know, if you had it, you know, the crowds will come out. It's just like they, they do here. Uh, I think they're starved of it now, like in, in, in Ireland, and particularly, you know, we had the Irish Masters, it was always packed. And even when we have the seniors there, we get a great crowd. So I think if we had the top players playing in an event, and even if it was an invitational event uh, to start off, uh, I think it would be a great success. We just need a, a good sponsor, and we need you guys, RTE, to uh, televise it. <laughs> yeah, I'd love to be covered. It. Um, just a very final one in terms of maybe a, a player to get behind. We've young Aaron Hill. I know you were playing him in exhibitions yeah. this week, and he's obviously won a couple of games this season. How far could he go in the game? I appreciate you're not going to want to put pressure on the lad, yeah. but in terms of how crucial is it that we have a, an Irish player to get a tournament here to, to have somebody to follow? Yeah, absolutely. Aaron, uh, you know, is there, and uh, he's got a, he's a great prospect. You know, I practice with him. You know, he stayed with me in Sheffield a few times, and we, we've done a lot of practice. I can see the potential there. And just like anything, and all the young lads, they just need a little bit of uh, confidence, a few matches under the belt. And he, the fact that he beat Ronnie O'Sullivan as well should give him confidence that when he plays some of the other top guys that he's already done it. But he just needs consistency, you know, those wins and the qualifiers, which are very, very difficult, and just build up a bit of rhythm and build up some points. And, and, uh, and then when he gets to these stages against, you know, on the TV table... Uh, that he can produce his, his best form. So he is a great prospect and uh, I hope that uh, he can do great things over the next couple of years.